Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm Abby and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to DIY two fruit bookmarks. One is watermelon and the other is mango. Both are my favorite fruits in summer. So I'm really excited now and let's get started. First, let's talk about the shape of the watermelon. It's quite easy actually, so don't be afraid. Just draw a triangle, then a trapezoid next to it to make it more dimensional. Now I'm drawing a very long and narrow shape under the triangle and the trapezoid. That's a rind. Finally, you can add some seeds at the surface of the flesh. So yeah, that's a slice of watermelon. Now let's talk about how to do it in watercolor. The color we need for watermelon is basically red and green. For red, I chose Cream the Lake, and for green, I'm mixing Viridian Hue and Olive Green. You know, I like mixing two greens together to make it more natural. And we'll also need some black, but we'll do it in the last step. So, okay, let's do the watercolor now. So you can see I'm using my smallest brush to outline the shape of the watermelon. Just like what we did with the pencil, paint a triangle first, and then before it dried, fill it in. And you can also add some water and let them blend naturally. Make sure you get a very smooth transition. Basically, I want the top to be the dark value and the bottom to be the light value. So you put more paint at the top and more water at the bottom. Now we'll do the other side. The color in this side should be lighter compared to the front so that you can create an interesting contrast. Finally, grab some green we mixed before and drag your brush, that's a rind. Now we'll leave it for a while and let it dry. Then we'll talk about mangoes. I googled mangoes and found they have two basic shapes. One is like an egg, only with a fatter top. The other is like this. The bottom part is a little bit skewed to one side, either left or right. I think it's like a fat version of cashews. For mango's color, of course we'll need some yellow. What I'm doing here is grabbing some lemon yellow and some permanent yellow deep. Also you may notice some mangoes are not fully yellow. They can be partially green or partially red. So I'm mixing radiant hue and permanent green pale to get this kind of grassy green. And for the red part, we'll just use the same color as watermelon. Okay, when the colors are ready, we can paint some mangoes now. Again, I'm using my smallest brush to map out the shape of a mango. The color I'm using here is the lemon yellow, but I mixed it with a lot of water. When you feel happy about the shape, you can add some red in. Remember you want to do this with a uh, while it's still wet, otherwise you end up with some harsh lines. So make sure the transition is smooth and let the watercolor do its work. Now let's do the other one here. We are basically following the same formula. Map out the shape first and then add some green at the top and finally some dark yellow at the bottom. Thank you. 
Now let's grab some black and come back to the one melon to paint the seeds. Just do some random dots at their surface and that's it. For the mangoes, I like to add some leaves. I feel they are cuter and more lively with these leaves. Okay, now you know how to paint the watermelon and mangoes, so let's DIY the bookmarks together.
Hey guys, I hope you like these two bookmarks. And if you enjoy my video, please subscribe my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.